Hey everybody, welcome to the lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today I feel we will uh, update our uh, guide on how to make uh, tile sets and players, uh, mainly because Good Godot in version 4.3 changed the way that uh, tile sets and tile maps are done. So just a quick little updated video to augment our previous lesson on that. So let's get started. So here's the game I've been working on with my uh, programming 11 and 12 students, a 2D platformer. And uh, recently we did a video on how to do sprinting and double jump, but let's kind of go back a little bit and uh, make a quick tile set. So I'm going to add a new scene up here at the top. and. Uh, we're going to create this just as a 2D scene, right? And we could rename our scene with the F2 key, and we'll just call it Level 02. And on top of that, we can right-click and go Add Child Node or Control A to bring up our new node window. Okay, so I'm going to be wanting adding a tile map or a tile set. So now, when I search up tile here in the search bar, you're going to notice we have two different um, uh, tile maps here. So. We have a little red X next to this one because it's been deprecated, uh, meaning uh, Godot has updated and it no longer uses this system for making tile sets and tile maps. Uh, so if you're ever unsure, the one that has the red X next to it, don't use that one. So I'm gonna go to Tile Map Layer. We'll be doing advanced lessons later on how to use the Tile Map Layer more effectively, but for now we're just gonna go to Tile Map Layer and click Create, okay? And what that's gonna do, it's gonna create our Tile Map Layer uh, over here as a child of our level two. All right. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the right hand side here to the inspector and we notice that it says empty next to our tile set. So we're gonna click on the little arrow and go new tile set. Okay, now uh, we have to click on this button here, this tile set button that just got created here. So we're gonna click on that once. And now we have a few options here. Uh, we have an option here for tile size. Now you need to think to your A sprite file um, and what was the average size of your tile when you were making that grid? Was it 16 by 16, 32 by 32? I made mine 32 by 32, so I'm gonna type that in there. Excellent, okay, so I've changed my tile size and now that I'm on my tile set, I'm gonna go down here to the bottom of my screen and click on tile set, okay? It says no tile set source has been selected, uh, so let's create one here. So over here in my art folder in my file system, I have a basic tile set. I made an A sprite and I export it as a PNG and I'm going to drag it down into here. It's gonna ask, do you wanna create an atlas? You're gonna click yes. And we can kind of now adjust this and move this around as needed using the middle mouse button. Okay, so now that that part's been done, we uh, are gonna to go to the tile map button. And here on the tile map button, you can click on a tile with the pencil tool and you can start creating your tile set. Okay, perfect. And then we can go to the rectangle tool and we can draw out our tile set there. Right, we can add some water here. And we can start building out our levels. Excellent. Now, a few little uh, tips and tricks uh, around this. Um, as you are designing and building your levels here, uh, you can use the uh, Z key to rotate your tiles in the map. So I can press, click it again. Every time I click the Z key, it does a rotation. Okay, so Z can be used as a quick hot key to rotate the tiles as you're kind of making them up there. So just kind of be aware of that. Perfect, let's just add a little bit more. Don't need to stress about this too, too much here because we are just doing a demo. Excellent. Okay, so uh, now that we have our tile set in place, uh, let's go about and make a very quick player for our game, okay? So I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna save this scene. We're gonna go to my scenes folder. We're just gonna call it level two, perfect. And then we're gonna add a new scene up here. And we're gonna start this with an other node, okay? So I'm gonna make my player as I was kind of saying. So I'm gonna go to character body 2D as my root node. And I'm gonna call this player Two. I've already made a player, but we'll make a player two just for the purposes of this. And we got a couple errors here uh, because this character body controller here um, is missing a few components, mainly colliders and sprites and all these types of things here. So I'm going to press Control A and let's add a collision shape. Let's go back to our player. Very importantly, we're going to click on our player, the parent node, Control A, and let's add a sprite 2D. Okay. Now under sprite 2D, it says empty, and I'm just going to use the default. Godot icon for now. Uh, you can go and change that with your own sprites later and go to our collision shape. It says empty for the shape. Let's go to a rectangle shape and let's draw that to fill our object. Perfect. Okay. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a script onto our player. So we can either right click and go attach script 
or we can click the attach script button up there. Okay, now I'm gonna use a template. I'm gonna use the basic movement template and I'm gonna click create. It's gonna show us our code here. Now we've done a lot of work with this code in some of our other videos, so I'm not gonna go into depth here. We'll go back to our 2D and let's hit Control S to save and player 02, we're gonna save that as. We can now close that scene, go back to our level 02 here. And now let's link or uh, instantiate our player. Okay, so we have our player two down here and we can either just drag this into our scene if we want, or we can click on level two, click on the little chain and instantiate our player zero two, perfect. Okay, now this is a little bit big, so we're gonna go over to our inspector here. We're gonna go to transform and let's scale this down 0.25. Okay. All right, double click that by mistake. All right. Now, if I go to actually play my game, my character's gonna fall through the world. So the character has physics and it's reacting to it. That's part of the script and the character body we put on there. But we haven't actually put physics onto our tile set yet. So I'm gonna go to my tile map layer again. And then here we have a section called physics layers. I'm gonna open that up. We're gonna add an element. And that's all we have to done. So we've had a specific, specified layer on layer one for collision um, for our tile set. Since I've been working on my tile set over here, we're gonna go down to tile set over here. And this is where it gets kind of confusing. We're gonna click the paint button. And now we decide what we wanna paint. Well, I wanna paint my physics layer right here. And then all I have to do is click on all the tiles where I want the physics layer to apply, okay? And my little bridge is over there and so forth. You can paint everything how you want and you can do custom tile sets by moving these anchor points here on some of your different tiles. Okay, excellent. So now when I go to play my game, my character lands, I can jump, and everything is working perfect. Okay, hope you found that video helpful, and we will see you all later.